God bless you. I'm Elect Lady Prophetess Owens, and I'd like to share with you the subject, Law and Order. As we look at the sitcom Law and Order, it is centered around the New York City Police Department, keeping order in the city by following a process of laws that must be kept. It is law and order that gives us freedom we would not have if laws were not instituted. There would be complete chaos without law and order. We find this true as we look in the book of Judges and find out how destructive life could be without authority. Judges 17 and 6 says, In those days there was no king in Israel, but every man did that which was right in his own eyes. There must be authority in the land to have peace and safety. Judges 18, 1 8 reiterates, In those days there was no king in Israel. When the tribe of Dan sent five spies to spy out a city called Laish, they noticed there was no law and order in the city. The people were wealthy because the land was very fertile, but they lived carelessly without any law and order. They were also isolated, full of idolatry, and had no allies. When the five spies realized this, they returned to their home and informed their brethren how vulnerable the city and people were. So they attacked the people, took their goods, and then burned the city without no one in authority to stop them. They changed the name of the city from Laish to the city of Dan. Now this should be a warning to America and the church to return to law and order. Many people in America believe they should not be subject to law and order in the name of freedom not in the name of God, but the book of Judges is a reminder and a warning. If we don't get back to the Bible and not politics or doing only what is right in our own eyes, we are about to enter a time of lawlessness and the judgment of God. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7 in the Amplified Version says, For the mystery of lawlessness, that is, rebellion against divine authority, and the coming reign of lawlessness is already at work. But it is restrained only until he who now restrains it is taken out of the way. So while the Holy Spirit is yet restraining the lawless one, we should take heed to law and order for our survival.